What's up, everybody? Guess what? It's the last video of 2020. The last of the quarantine recipes. We're going to end our year with Beef Wellington. Very, very excited. This is our celebration. So grab your ass and hold on tight because 2021 is about to be here. So now we're going to trim out our filet mignon, but what I wanted to do is, is I wanted to do the filet using a paring knife because I have boning knives and things, but I think the average household probably doesn't have. So we're going to use our paring knife and we're going to come in and this is the butt end, the solid meats and the two side meats. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our knife, run it right here. Remove our silver skin right here. Now, ultimately, all we're trying to do is we're going to get a solid piece of meat that we're going to end up wrapping in puff pastry. So, we've removed this piece of silver skin. We're going to come in here. There's an attachment of silver skin right here. Run our knife through there just enough to get through under the surface. this so now we're left with clean sides and silver skin on the meat all right to remove the silver skin put your knife in angle it up and run it all the way to the back come back hold this firm here the silver skin firm and pull that that way and repeat this process until you've removed all the silver skin from your tenderloin. Now remember, you're just trying to get underneath the surface. Do not destroy your meat and hack it up. So in, angle up, and then pull tight. Grab this, the piece of loose silver skin, angle up, and remove it. One last time, in, angle, peel, peel, remove this, then look at your, your meat, trim any fatty pieces, <clears throat> remove this piece of fat there, okay, turn it over, there's always a piece of silver skin right here, and it will angle into the meat, so we're going to take this, we're going to just try to stay right on the surface and you're going to get the majority of it. There's going to probably be a small piece of silver skin in there, but it's not going to bother anything. Remove the cartilage and the silver skin in the back. And that's it. So now let's do this. We're going to remove this side meat. I'm going to take this and fold this in and we're going to even up our side, our ends. Okay. Now here's the thing. We're going to do a beef Wellington with a lesser cut of filet. And I'm just trying to be honest with you. I could buy a center cut that would cost me three times the amount, or I can use the butt end right here, which nobody's going to see because we're going to wrap it in puff pastry and you're going to have the same wow factor as before. Now look, if you look at this, we trimmed a little bit off the side. We took, we took the side meat and we're going to fold this over. We have the cylinder, cylinder set symmetrical tube that we want for beef wellington. So when we wrap this in puff pastry, it's going to eat the same as a center cut and it's going to present the same as a center cut so here we have filet mignon for beef wellington all right so let's season our filet we're going to use himalayan sea salt why i don't know i, I love 
I also love kosher salt, but we'll use the sea salt. We're gonna use some fresh black pepper. And what all we wanna do is we wanna sear our meat and prepare it for the puff pastry. Don't be afraid at this point to get some salt and seasoning on your on your fillet. Alright. Here we go. Salt, pepper. Gonna grab our olive oil. Let's sear our meat. Now all we're doing here is we're searing our meat and building our flavors. So approximately 30 minutes to 40 minutes on each, 30 to 40 seconds on each side. Seared all our sides. Let's remove this to our plate. Immediately after removing from your pan after searing, I like to use Dijon mustard. The recipes call for English mustard, etc. We're gonna brush our fillet with mustard. Now this is the famous baby pork because we have a two-year-old in our house and he likes to remove handles so if you can find the brush use his baby fork as a handle it's amazing because then you can flip your meat and brush at the same time all right we'll take our our meat rest it in the refrigerator while we do the rest of our meat and plus um it's gonna be 37 minutes and 14 seconds that we actually rest the meat. So we're gonna make our mushroom duxelle. Start with our mushrooms, onion, shallots, and we're gonna grind this into a dust. same pan that we use to sear our filet with, touch of olive oil, not a lot. Um, if you ask some people, they say don't put any olive oil in it at all, but this is just the way I was taught. So we're going to take our mushrooms that we ground with onion and garlic, actually shallot and garlic, add it to the pan.
pepper. Panko. Touch of panko to tighten up our mushrooms, duck cell. Um, maybe a quarter cup. I just want the breadcrumbs to absorb the liquid in this. Um, some, of, some of these recipes are not using this. I have been doing mushroom duck cell for 35 years and always use a touch of breadcrumbs. So up to you. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is I am gonna add the remainder of the crab that we had the other night from our du for our duck cell. So we're gonna have a mushroom and crab duck cell. We're gonna let this cool. And then we're gonna put together our Wellington. But this should be amazing because now we're gonna have a surf and turf beef Wellington. So now we're back. Now we're gonna start our assembly. I've taken two pieces of store-bought puff pastry, connected them in the middle. I'm gonna take our mushroom duck cell and spread this out. Now we're gonna probably have excess dough um, and that's okay. We'll cut off what we don't need, but let's take, the, let's take our duck cell, let's spread it out. So, remember we added crab to this to make it just that much better. Okay, in this situation, the first process would have been to take Italian ham or some type of pork product and add to the filet, wrap it up, and then but we're not going to do that. We're going to we're going to take some fresh spinach and add spinach to it because we don't eat pork in this house. And this is a great way to utilize another color and build another flavor. So that's what we're going to do. Of the side. We're gonna remove these. I just didn't feel like one store bought would would work. One store bought sheet would work, so that's why we did this. Um, tuck in the edges. Now let's take the saran wrap. And we're just gonna roll this tight for right now, like this. And we're just going to roll this until it's nice and tight. We're going to stick this in our refrigerator. The more you roll, the more symmetric it's going to become. Um, we're going to stick this in our refrigerator and then we'll remove these little pieces here for about 30 minutes to an hour. And we'll come back and roast it for about 35 minutes at 425. All right. Back to the beef wellington. We let it rest in the in the refrigerator. Um, now we're going to put a little fanciness to it. 
what we're going to do is I'm going to take the paring knife and I'm just going to make little score marks on it. Um, and I've done the same thing on the other side. Then we'll take this. All right, so we're going to egg wash this. Just a touch of kosher salt. Just sprinkle it with kosher salt. We're going to put this in a 425 degree oven for about 32 minutes or until the temperature you desire. The longer you leave it in, the Traditionally, we would do a, a uh, red wine sauce or something with this, but we're going to actually make a hollandaise. Okay, now we're gonna we're gonna make a hollandaise to go along with our our beef Wellington, um, and that is nothing more than a multiplication sauce. We're gonna do a blender naze, which is very very simple. You want to have hot butter, and you want to have egg yolks. So, if Jade, if you would add the egg yolks. To the blender. That's good. Uh. Touch of white wine. Some hot sauce. Can you do a couple drops of that? Again, shake it, shake it, shake it. Okay, good, good. Nothing says Southern like In Texas, Texas Pete. Touch your Worcestershire sauce. A pinch of paprika. Just a light sprinkling of cayenne. And a touch of salt. All right, so here we go. So what we're going to do is we're going to put our lid on. We're going to start blending. It's too thick. It's still right up. We'll add just a touch of wine to this. Our fresh squeezed lemon juice. A little bit more wine. 
I'm just looking to get to a right consistency. So there we have a nice hollandaise. Let's taste it. Perfect. So this will go on to our beef wellington and asparagus. Real simple, easy hollandaise. You can make it home. Anybody can make it. After 32 minutes on a 425 degree convection oven, we've pulled it out. All right, it's time for our reveal. Nice little slice down the middle. Guys, we are, well, not we. My wife is not a real rare to medium rare type of person so we tend to cook a little bit more um, to make her and the kids happy so um, as you can see though this is beautiful we got some nice color you can see the duck cell the spinach a nice medium rare right there so I'm very 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 pleased with that so let's plate this up Hey guys, we from our family to yours, we want to wish you a happy 2021. Um, let's let's leave 2020 in the rearview mirror. God bless you guys. And we look forward to seeing you again on our next YouTube video. Um, we're excited about 2021 and great things are going to happen. So stay safe. Stay happy. See you in 2021. Happy New Year.